Hi everyone, how are you? Thank you for popping by. Here's a video where people talk about their COs, their circuit overseers. A bit later I'll talk about um, one I remember. He terrified me. He was so scary. Anyway, someone on Reddit, XJW, has talked about their meeting this week with the CO. Of course, everyone turns up, don't they? Everyone turns up out the woodwork for the CO's uh, visit. So, he's going on about sexting and, you know, they've got a kid. This family have got a kid and the kid's like, what? What sexting? You know. It's so, so wrong, you know. Um, but, right in the middle of his talk, this is the one that's going to get you. Oh, jokes about not slowing down our service simply because everyone we're preaching to will probably die. And the whole kingdom all came down laughing. Oy, oy, oy. So even the family members who are totally in it were very uncomfortable. Oh, this is this was one. <laughs> so uh, they're going out with the CEO. He's he's the Kobe. And they had some return visits, so oh, we'll do those. You know, they've got this allotted hour, but they've run out of the calls. And so they suggest, why don't we visit Sister S in the care home? She has brought in lots of witnesses over the years, and now she's a widow. And I'm sure she would like a visit from you as the circuit overseer. He said, I can't count my time if we do that. She's baptized. Something died in me at that point. I just knew that this so-called shepherd circuit overseer was just an unfeeling, uncaring box ticker. Wow. So sad. You know, you're supposed to look after the widows and orphans, and there she was, faithful. Um, there she was old, and like the rest of us told, she wasn't going to get old. And, um, no. Couldn't be bothered to go and see a lovely guy. Lovely. And here's a fantastic response to that. It's just like that scripture in the Bible where Jesus told his apostles he couldn't preach to them anymore because they were baptized and he couldn't count his time. And someone put, insert a crazed convention clapping here. Another response. Reminds me of when I was an elder and took a day off from work to work with the CO in service. We had planned a shepherding call on an old brother in a nursing home. He was in his 80s. Well, the call was for like three in the afternoon, but the CO was late getting back from a Bible study with another person. So we don't make it to the nursing home until closer to four. That's okay, I think to myself, where else does the older brother have to be, right? Well... The CO spends maybe 10 minutes tops with the brother and then insists it's time to go. Why? Because one of the other brothers had planned to take the CO and his wife out for a fancy dinner and he doesn't want to be late. I remember thinking, where are your priorities? How would Jesus behave in this situation? Well, we all know he go to the fancy dinner. Most CEOs were just men on a power trip, although there were some kindly ones too, they say. Someone else remembers a CO visit shortly after 9-11. The CO remarked with a chuckle that you ain't seen nothing yet about thousands of people dying in falling, burning buildings. CO contributed to my waking up, someone else says, at the elder MS meeting and he starts talking about things in the news about the organization. If the friends bring it up, just say fake news. Everyone laughs and I sit there dumbfounded as I'd already learned of ARC at that point. Wow, well, and we're seeing uh, we're seeing that that is entirely true because at the uh, the cart crashes, the cart encounters, um, you'll see the response is fake news. That's what people say, oh, it's fake news if you bring it up. And someone else, so, someone else, it seems, God, how many of them? Someone else has uh, left because of, of uh, Jeffrey Jackson. 
How many? <laughs> it's brilliant. Someone had, had said that with these CEOs, might secretly be a troll trying to wake people up. Uh, nah, probably isn't. Mm. And someone puts in an attempt to lighten the mood before the pioneer meeting with elders. I used to ask them, how do you get 100 pioneers into the original Mini Cooper cars? Tell them they can count their time. <gasps> and it seems that we have a brother spooner. So they're talking about the elders showing off during a CO visit and giving fancy answers. And this field service overseer, um, obviously the brother spooner, put his hand up about being thorough on the ministry. He said, <laughs> We must. <laughs> Must leave no turd unstoned. <laughs> he always had apostates on his mind. <laughs> and so to this uh, CEO that scared me, uh, he was new, young guy, youngish, and very stern. And we all gathered in someone's house, ready to go out on field ministry. So we were stood and sat down. I was sat down and he was jing us all up and wanting everyone to give responses and things. Well, I was always too shy and I really lacked confidence. So I'd always keep quiet. Well, I hadn't said anything. And as he's talking, he's waggling this stick around really high up and bringing it down and sweeping it across. And as he's... Um, asking people to reply um, he's pointing the stick level with them straight at them well I didn't realize then that um, how trauma was and its triggers and things and like many of you I was uh, had to endure a lot of physical abuse you know abuse is violent violent attacks and one of the instruments used was a proper walking stick which my dad would also hang on the living room wall just to remind us that uh, we any time the blows could fall so i didn't realize i'm like Aah! like all i can do is watch this stick to see its direction just as you did as a kid you know um of course i hadn't answered so he points the stick at me and ooh, even now thinking about it you know my arms go ooh. but what, what a what a banana who who is that insensitive that they go moving the stick around everywhere and using it to point it's just it's not normal is that me anyway please do put your own co stories down below and we'll have a look and see what comes up some may be serious i'm sure and some may be funny i'm sure but i'll i'll look forward to seeing them and thank you ever so much for your time bye for now